Hey guys, happy Friday and thank you so much for stopping by my channel. Today we are all about hair. It is my wash day so I figured I would sit down and talk you guys through my wash days instead of doing a voiceover. But I'm gonna try and do this quickly, like in 15 minutes, let's see what happens. Today I'm using only one product. This is a one product wash and go. I hope it's a one product wonder, we will see. And it is the Mousse Deft texture foam. I actually was influenced to purchase this from Natural, Natural's Best channel here on YouTube. I believe her name is Bevelyn. Um, and I just saw how great it worked for her hair. So I was like, you know what? Uh, let me, let me, let me try this and see how it works for mine. So just a disclaimer before we jump in, I do have a little bit of leave-in conditioner. Normally when I'm trying on a new product, I, like one product, I do try not to, but with my hair color, I really, um, I just can't afford not to have a leave-in in my hair. It's just like not something that I can really get away with the way I might have been able to when it was my natural hair color because it'll dry up. So yeah, I wanted to do a talk through because I see a lot of new faces here. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, <laughs> and I figure it's been a minute since I've done like a who am I, get to know me. I don't think I've done one in years actually. So I'm just going to let you guys into my crazy brain for the next few minutes. And if you would like a get to know me tag, if you'd like to see that, let me know in the comments below. I'll do another video for that separately. Today with my wash and goes, what I tend to do is I like to, um, whoops. I, I don't like to use the brush after the product is applied because I feel like it just, it doesn't really, um, it doesn't work for me. So I'm going to, uh oh, tip number one. My hair has to be so good for washing because if not, <laughs> I'll need a joke. Oh. oh, a little bug. I just don't understand, like, <laughs> I feel so bad for these bugs. I'm like, what's wrong? Like, were you not happy with your life? Because once you fly into my hair, it's a wrap. Like, you're not coming out. It's just, it's a trap. You'll be trapped in there. I won't be able to help you because I don't know where you are. I usually find them, like, literally on wash days, either in the shower or, like, when I come out of the shower and I just pull my hair, I feel, I find the little buggies. So as I go through this, I'm going to put what's on the back of this label on the screen so you guys can see what it's supposed to do. Um, and I hope that it does that for me. It does say to use one to two pumps, so I'm gonna try that. Oh, and it's supposed to be humidity blocking and fights frizz. Exciting. I probably will end up doing bigger sections, I'm not even gonna lie to y'all, because this is gonna take too long if I do this way. Um, but I like to do what's called the praying hands method, and I like to rake a little bit. And depending on like how my ends are, some ends in certain areas are a little bit better than others. I'll use the brush a little bit again, but for the most part, I don't. I get so nervous when I'm applying new products, like, cause I'm like, oh, I'm excited, but you really don't know like what's gonna happen. How's everyone been? How's quarantine? I feel like quarantine has been very interesting for me. Like, um, so thankfully I, my full, my nine to five job, I was already working from home. Ooh, we're gonna do big sections today. So it wasn't that much of a change for me when I had to like permanently be at home. I'm, I work in the field and at home. Um, so now I'm just at home for right now. But I will say that there's like a big pro and a big con of me being in quarantine. I'd say the pro is I'm doing a lot more DIY. So here on my channel, I've always been kind of like a natural hair channel. Um, I brought fashion and styling in just for fun because I love fashion and styling. If you follow me on Instagram, you would probably see that. Um, and then more recently, I'm back into like doing DIYs from anything from like home decor to fashion to literally whatever I think is cool. Um, and it's been great. I'm feeling real creative in that area. <laughs> so that's great. <laughs> But the other part of corny that's not going so well for me is um, I'm eating like a ton of chocolate. Now, usually I have a craving for cho chocolate like maybe a week before my period. 
but this is like an everyday thing and I'm I'm just I give in every time like I have no um <laughs> self-control in it chocolate also I don't know maybe this is just me but milk chocolate versus dark chocolate in my skin it's like night and day milk chocolate tastes better to me in the sense of just killing that craving but um it shows up on my skin like I'll get texture or break out like right after and then dark chocolate is good and everything and I like it and I enjoy it just, just as much but it just doesn't hit the craving the same so I've been craving milk chocolate on top of that and I've literally just been eating like I have no sense like when I don't have chocolate in a day I'm not that nice I'm a little irritable I, I just I just uh I'm trying to stay sane I feel like most of us are trying to stay sane I really miss traveling I'm okay with obviously not traveling right now I don't I'm not like I'm not trying to risk anything for me or the people around me, but I, it's crazy when you're, when you're told you can't do something like, <laughs> I am really trying to be hopeful that in 2021 we'll, we'll have some sort of, um, hand or not control, but have something together with all of this and that we'll be able to travel again because I'm planning to travel like every other week. Okay. Maybe like once a month. Yeah. That's not bad. Once a month. I miss traveling so much. <laughs> Even like kind of you know within the country from the United States if you have not picked up oh don't you just love that when you're filming and the Sun just decides it wants to shine it's light it's just like couldn't be happier and then it goes away but that's it okay so <laughs> just a quick tip if you decide to get red hair I am going to be doing a video updating like how I'm maintaining this color. Just be prepared to not wear anything light anymore. That's why for all of my washers, if you have noticed the most recent ones, I have black shirts on. And I have a tan towel here and I keep wiping my hands. And uh, sorry to this towel. Sorry to this man. Now that I realize I can do bigger sections, this is gonna go by even fast. It's like I love wash and goes. Um, I really do. I appreciate them. Just they don't last as long for me, so that's why I don't do them. But they are the fastest, I would say, natural hairstyle. I'm kind of like a faker when it comes to this because I'm a lazy natural hair girl. Like, I, I really don't, you know, the quickest way to get to the end results is really what I like. <laughs> I come on here and I do a lot of videos, but like in my day to day life, I'm like, what is the fastest way? Because I'm trying to be done. So, washing goes is that, but. They don't always last for me, so I'm hoping that this has enough of a hold and definition and fights for it, like it says it's supposed to, that it can last me at least four days, and then maybe I'll be a wash and go girl for the summer. Who knows? There goes the sun. Then I tell ya. So what are people watching? What are you watching right now? I feel like this is something universally that we can all agree we, we did for the most part, unless you're an essential worker. Um, while well, being in quarantine as you just picked up on a bunch of shows and a lot of time on Netflix and Hulu and all those other fun accounts. I have been, like right now I'm into rewatching. So, um, I was really missing Game of Thrones. Fun fact, <laughs> I watched all, what was it, seven seasons, the first seven seasons, the seven seasons of Game of Thrones or maybe it was six I think I don't know seven or six in two weeks that is the fastest binge I think I've ever done in my life I don't know what's wrong with me like I had heard of the show like several times and I just I was like eh, I don't feel like watching it I don't feel like watching it and it's right up my alley like I'm a huge Lord of the Rings fan um I like like action kind of movies like I'm into Marvel the Avengers I like those movies I don't I don't know what it is but I do um so Game of Thrones is kind of like action-y and it has so much character development and all that stuff i just wasn't into watching it and then with one i think it was last year in january january i was like you know what let me just try this show i was so hooked in two weeks i finished it it's actually kind of not healthy the way i was like <laughs> okay it's five o'clock let me put game of, game of thrones on okay i'll go to bed at 11. stop to get like dinner <laughs> every night bad but I'm re-watching that right now and it's crazy like what I love about re-watching shows is you notice so many things that you missed that's what's like if it's a good show and you could sit through it and re-watch it again even though you know what's gonna happen you know that this the eighth season is going to be absolute trash um it's enjoyable because there's so many things that I missed if you haven't watched it and you are interested in that kind of I don't know what genre it would be considered 
I highly recommend it. Mine is the last season. <laughs> if you can just like skip that all together, uh, it's not that great. <gasps> Y'all. Okay. Oh my gosh. So, um, I always like to put a clip here when I'm doing a wash and go because it gives my roots a chance to fully like stretch before they start to dry. My my roots are the first thing that I kind of want to lift, even with product on it. They just want to like lift up and like they're like, yay, let's like go towards the sky. I'm like, chill out. So I put this here just for the beginning stage of the drying so that it could stretch them out a little bit. Um, but whoa. <laughs> this is already defined. Not really. Oops. <laughs> Does anyone else talk to themselves? I, I am not ashamed. I have full blown conversations with myself. And I'm really like, it's such a normal thing for me. Okay? <laughs> like, like, like full blown. Ooh, there she goes. Hi, son. How you doing? I'm gonna speed this up really quick so I could show you how it looks when it's all applied. Okay, so I know you can't see me and I can't see you, but we know what we look like, right? I don't know what you guys look like. I'm gonna let this air dry naturally and I'm not gonna disturb it at all. And then I will um, come back and talk about it. And my final thoughts. Okay guys, so I was going to like fluff it out for you before I came back, but I wanted you to see how it dried. It took about 45 minutes to dry, I would say. Um, but I did kind of cheat a little bit. It was nice outside, so I just got on my bicycle and rode, around, and rode around with wet hair. I couldn't see for a little bit because as you saw when I left the bangs were like down to here, but that helped speed up the drying time. So this took about 45 minutes record time for me, okay? Um, but again, it's really defined and it's soft. I, as I said in the beginning, I did use a little bit of a leave-in, so that could be part of it, but there is a little bit of just like a hold. So I'm going to just put a little oil on my hands to break that and then Fluff it out so you guys can see the full size and the definition when I go. Okay guys, so these are the final results. What do you think? Well, I give my opinion. <laughs> I I like it. I like it. I definitely like it. So here are my only two complaints. It, which is like, it's kind of a complaint, but when I think about it, it's kind of like you gotta pick and choose. So I definitely have shrinkage. When I do a wash and go, that's usually the most stretched out my hair is. Um, this is kind of like the height a twist out would be So my hair did shrink when I like separate it and I didn't do much. I literally just Praying hand method the oil in I don't like to pick my hair out. Um, so I did have a little bit of shrinkage And I just it could be that my bangs Are still damaged But like they didn't really define the way I would say my hair did over here on the sides like so those are my only two complaints, but I'm not mad at this. Again, these are the results. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you are new here and you would like to subscribe, now would be the time to hit the subscribe button. And I will see you guys next time. You know, hold on. <laughs> you know what I find so funny is like on YouTube, we said, I'll, we always say at the end, I'll see you next time in my next video. I, okay, I can't see y'all, but I hope that you will see me the next time that you come to my page and visit. Bye! <laughs>